When your instrument is out of level, it may be possible to determine the vertical error induced by the misleveling. Here in this scenario, we will consider a horizontal line. However, this may apply to sloped lines of sight that you would get with total station operations. Here on my diagram, you can see my horizontal line of sight, and perpendicular to that is a vertical line that goes right down through the middle of the level vial on my optical level. Notice you've got the little blue bubble, and it is centered between the division marks that we use to center that bubble. And in our case here, the sensitivity of this level vial is 15 seconds of arc per division. Let's say that my instrument is two marks or two divisions out of level. Well, that would mean then that I've got a 30 second error. How is that? Well, I've got two divisions at 15 seconds per division that I am out of level. Well, now notice then the bubble, of course, has risen to its highest possible point under the curved ceiling of this level vial. And the line of sight is no longer horizontal. You see, the horizontal line is this black line. Well, it's possible then for us to determine what the vertical error is over here. If I know the distance from the rod back to the instrument. Here in our case, let's say that we are dealing with a 280 foot distance from instrument to rod. Well, the angle between the line of sight and the horizontal line is the same angle that we have right here going between uh, the centered position of the end of the bubble and the displaced position of the end of the bubble, 30 seconds. So 30 seconds is the angle here, and we're going to call that angle theta. This distance, 280, is a horizontal distance, and we want to know the vertical distance. I don't know if you've caught this already, but we have two sides of a triangle we're talking about here and an angle, and the vertical and the horizontal distances are perpendicular to each other. So we have a right triangle. And when we have a right triangle and we know this information, we can relate the three variables, theta, v, and h, through the tangent function. You see, in this case, we know theta. We also know h, but we want to find v. Well, if we do the algebra before we plug the numbers in, we find that v equals h times tangent of theta. Well, let's plug the numbers in. We know that v will be 280 feet times the tangent of 0 degrees, 0 minutes, and 30 seconds. Once I crunch this through my calculator, I get a vertical error in this case of 0 0.041 feet. That is my vertical error here at a distance of 280 feet from the instrument when my instrument is 30 arc seconds out of level. Hopefully this will be helpful for you to calculate similar errors when your instrument is misleveled.